my friend asked me if I wanted to do something during the warm up. And um, when he sat and he said, okay, hold your one point and then relax. And there's, um, we've been talking about becoming the universe. Yes? And um, O Sensei, in particular, he, uh, he really believed that. And his ideology came from um, Shinto. And uh, he used to, the Amoto Kyo the school that he followed, they used to strongly believe in something called Koto Dharma. Koto Dharma is um, words, syllables that have power, creation. Um, actually, it's, it's about vibration. It's not really about the sound, but it's about the vibration that the sound makes. <clears throat> so Ai Sensei, because he believed he was a universe, he also believed that at the centre of his universe existed a deity. A what? A deity. A god. Oh. His own god. <clears throat> and he used to do <coughs> Kotal Dharma and the vibration from it was supposed to awaken the god that lived in his heart. Yes? <clears throat> Now the important thing is not the words, it's the vibrations and how you feel them while you are <coughs> holding that point. Mm -hmm. So, I would like to give you the experience <coughs> for a few seconds, a few minutes. <coughs> so, sit comfortably and <coughs> close your eyes and imagine that point. <coughs> Imagine your deity. And I will do the Kototama that goes with it. And you will try to feel the vibration that comes from the sound. <coughs> I will do it as long as my voice holds out. Okay, so pausing. Hara. Benevolence is it's the kind of thing 
your god does to you, it shows benevolence in that it doesn't squish you and smite you and bring yeah, you Yeah, yeah, so it, this word in English would, would, the best way to describe it would be divine love, yeah, like unconditionally, yes? Love, we all know what love is. Okay. So, I want to show you something. This is love in Chinese characters. This part here is important. The symbol that Mariama Sensei draws. It's a Shin symbol. But guess what? It's getting pierced by a spear. <laughs> Someone's laughing. No, no. Yeah. So, do you think Aikido is best represented by this? Broken hearts and being mended? Character for benevolence is actually much different. Looks like this. This is a person. This is the number two. It says how two people should act towards each other. So if we take the English word benevolence, and we, we say people can't do that because it's divine. The Chinese say, actually, that's the way that two people should always act towards each other. So the relationship here is what I'm looking at. This is really important. We've been doing this all weekend, the relationship between two people. This drawing in, this, the essence of this is really important. This, every time I hear people say Aikido is love, I can't ever get this image out of my head because I straight away I draw the Chinese character for love and the part. Oh, hate it. But Aikido <coughs> should be the relationship between two people. So human relations is really important because benevolence, if you said it to somebody in English, they would think that that was what God does, a God does. And loves unconditionally. But the Chinese would say, no, no, that's actually how human beings, at the essence of their nature, should act. It's a big difference. These words were created a couple of hundred years ago. These ones were created a couple of thousand years ago. It's very important, this uh, human relation that we have. And the way we express it in Aikido is really important. Yeah, so that's why we've been crapping on about all the stuff that we've been I've been standing on blah, 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 blah all weekend. <coughs> but this is really important. And I mean, yeah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Here. Uh, for uh, the techniques we, for the things we, we practice, that, uh, what I understand is that I have to, uh, to first self be in a, in a convenient, Way and then secondary, there's this other person. Is that what you mean? I'm saying that I believe Aikido is best expressed as this divine love <coughs> rather than this emotional love. Yeah, so this, um, we've been talking about in Roku no Tanrim, you know, this forging the power of attraction and the importance, like, you're not doing something to the other person, yeah. My journey is about polishing my mirror. Your journey is about polishing your mirror. I'm not going to try to polish Martin's mirror. <laughs> it's, this is, but it, it becomes so that active, reactive all the time. But Aikido is never meant to be like that. I don't think it was ever meant to be like that. It's meant to be building people that can express this, not people that are happy to just settle for this. Yeah. It's. I was talking to a couple of people about it yesterday, but we were. This is a. Yeah. 
G actually means duality. So no duality. Tien is heaven. Li is the absolute law. So this is the absolute law of the heaven of no duality. Yeah, so this is the absolute law. Yeah, this is the highest level that we can attain as human beings. The next one is, this is a dot. Mariama Sensei says this is a, a elementary particle. This represents all potentiality. Yeah? It hasn't actually reached form yet. So if anybody has read um, uh, anything to do with quantum physics, then you would know that an elementary particle acts as a wave until it's observed by consciousness. So the, the chemical mix here that makes this into this is a human being. Yeah? And so then we've got yin and yang. This is a, this, the moment that this is observed by consciousness, it becomes something and it starts motion. And in motion, it becomes yin and yang. Yeah? I sense I used to do this, he used to draw this one, Try, uh, the circle, and he draw a triangle. The triangle represented this. This is um, all potentiality. He said that was the first shape. So from the nothingness came the triangle, and from the triangle came the square, but the square is just two triangles. So we are practicing at this level, but we want to reach this level. Yeah, we're here, we want to get here. Actually, um, there's a, a, a guy that O Sensei knew that they were very close, uh, Masa Hisagoi. Who's seen the, the peace pot poles? Did it make peace prevail on earth written in English and Japanese? You see them standing outside dodo sometimes. Yeah, he's the one that created the peace pot. Him and O Sensei were very close. O Sensei actually said, he's the only one that understands the true essence of my heart. So he said, Goa used to say, O oh, Sensei has transcended form, he's become Ku. Ku is just another word for it's emptiness. So we're all trying to get here. Most people want to stay here. Oh, well, teach me how to fight. I want to learn this. I want to learn, you know, love. I don't want you to learn love. I want you to learn benevolence. I want you to learn to transcend that. But we, we get stuck in all of this jargon that makes, you know, Aikido sound really cool. But the truth is we're here to train to polish ourselves so that one day we don't have to even think about that. Just going there. The absolute heaven of no duality. Anyway, there's a whole heap of crap for you to think about. Oh, that's not it. It's just my words. Key principles? No, I'm not doing that either. Ah, oh, here we go. So, um, we're going to get up and have a go at this in a minute. Yin and yang, in your. So while we're in this form, we may as well learn about it. Mariama Sensei has been talking about it for a while. So, the essential element of, of yin uh, the, is uh, contractive, yeah? So yin contracts, yang expands. And Mariama Sensei explained this in Kindle. Yang is where the light is, if you're a four-legged animal. You know, the light is shining on you, then that's there. And where the shadow is, where the, the sun can't hit, that side is the yin side of the body. Yeah? All right. Enough of that crap. Let's get up and do something. So if we've got a, we've got a human being here, nice guy, this, part, this side of his body is what? Yin. This side of his body is yin. Okay, so so the character of yang is expansive. So move. The yin side's contractive. So if I put my hand in and try to, nothing happens. But push, nothing happens, falls over, because it's contractive and it's expensive, yeah, so here, 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 <coughs> nothing. This is like a natural reaction, I don't know. It's the 
this is yin, the way yin and yang is in your body. Yeah, then we go to do technique and we do this sort of thing, right? I want to lead him forward. So I actually need to touch this side of his body. So forward. No worries. And I'm going to do Urimanagi, but I want to say I want to up the ante and I want to really hook him around the corner. So what I do is I take this hand and I hook it inside here. Guess what? Doesn't work. Because I can't expand him from that side. And I want him to go forward. So I touch this side of the body. And then I. The moment this crosses over, everything changes. So grab a partner and have a go at that with somebody else's body. And push the inside. Try both and see if they stay stable or not. See the difference in the feeling, yeah? I know you're sitting there thinking this guy's full of shit. Come on, jump up. <laughs> We're going to have a bit of an exploration of uh, Corsa Katate to Shiyanagi within the context of this technique. So if I'm here and I want to do Shiyanagi, what most people do is something like this. <laughs> Grab hold of the person. So the nature of this side of the body is contractive, yeah? So the other thing that people would do is grab and try to pull, but I can't. So what I do is I move my body and I Contract, so this goes down. Yeah. Straight down. See, look, my hand is open. I haven't wrapped around to the yang side of the body. And this hasn't pulled, it's actually dropped. So I'm sinking into that side of the body. Yeah? So we're here. There. Now, I want to do shianagi. This is an expansive movement. Now, what would generally happen here is people would go, oh, I'm going to do shianagi, grab hold of the person. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this hand on the yang side of the body and I'm going to lead the energy through this hand to expand, turn around, back to the yin side of the body to contract. Two. No strength. Not once did I pull or shove or but your turn to explain. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like just one big circle movement. So I think my key is also that direction. Just Peter takes this key just with my key that side. So there's no resistance with me. If you should go that way, I resist. If you just Make, uh, make my long fingers still more longer, it's a feeling. So, finally I throw myself. That's my explanation. What's the sound effect? Sounds like... This is difficult because we, we're so, we get so conditioned to just like, I'm going to do Shiyanagi and we grab and we yank at the person and it's, I'm asking you to give up that, that conditioning that makes you feel like you need to do that. Yeah, so we're here. Yeah. Don't pull, just drop. Like this. Who's seen Karate Kid? Yeah, paint the fence, Ooh, Mr. Miyagi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> paint the floor, paint the fence. So this movement is a paint the fence. Yeah, paint the fence. And pull, different reactions. So no, terrible. Paint the fence.
Alright, paint that fence. Aikido is a funny thing, yeah? We do all these warm ups, wandering around looking like, what that, what, like, and then so I say to you, so we're going to go down, you know, and I, from here, drop hand, and that's that's how I'm doing it. The tandem ball goes first, the hand follows after. Yeah, this is the movement, this is the echo. Otherwise, I'll push with this hand, and the tandem ball will go up. Now, I don't know how many times you've done this. But that's all I'm doing to make the hand go down. That, that's it. Nothing more than that. So we go back to our basic exercises. I'm here. I move around to the side because I don't like getting kicked. And then I just go that exercise, yeah? And this hand doesn't need to this this hand is the driver in Shihonagi for a reason. This is my tegatana. This is my sword. One of my pet hates is when people do this. Sword doesn't do that, sword does that. Yeah? So this, this is again, this is inyo, this is aiki age. Yeah? So this hand is just resting on the top. This one comes to here. And from here, do aiki age. This hand, I, I never grab with this hand, ever. This is the driver of the movement, it's on the yang side of the body, so it's going on. I don't pull with this side at all, like that. So you move the fascia again? Yeah, ah! Look! I'm fine, I'm not at Yes! Yes, we always are in Aikido. You should never be grabbing and digging into the meat of somebody in any way. Yes? Never. That's why I never have tension, because I'm trying to relay what I'm doing into the fascia, not to the muscles. I don't want the person to contract and resist. So yes, once again, I'm giving his forearm here a nice rub. Ah, I'm stretching the fascia. Ah, stretch. So it feels compelling, yes? Mm -hmm. Still, but your turn. I don't feel any resistance indeed. Like I feel stretch in my arm, but I never uh, feel that I uh, uh, want to resist something. So uh, immediately when Peter grabbed me a bit harder, I really felt, like, oh, okay, I can resist. But then the whole movement there is always uh, goes with my energy and myself. So I think that's uh, the thing I felt uh, much more. And I felt uh, very clearly the yin and the yang. So the yin in the beginning in this move on the inside, the outside movement when I went like this, and then the inside again going down. So that's what I uh, felt. Good. Yeah. Let's have a go again. So there was, a, there was a very good reason that I asked Martin this morning to take you guys through the tandem ball exercises. Because 
Now that we're talking, we've, I've confused you totally with the yin yang side of the body. I'm going to take you to a completely different dimension now. So, it's a. Uh, you should have been practicing those exercises in 2003. So, same again. I'm getting somebody to stand in front of me because I want I want him to understand the explanation. That's all right. So we're here. Now, if I if I go to lift, I want to lift. Then what I do is I'm actually going to move my tongue and ball to this side of my body, which means that this space will become empty. Yeah. And as I do it, void. I couldn't lift back to the other side of the So again. Not even more. Even more resistance. <laughs> Take it away. <laughs> so <laughs> what I feel is is when it, there's resistance that you I can't feel anything. It's it's just just normal state. Steps quo. But I assume it feels like everything is moving from here, inside, just, and slowly moving over here as it goes around. That's <coughs> actually important. I move the inside at the same time as Tony's going around the back of me. I don't make it bounce over there faster and then he catches up with it afterwards. Literally the, the, um, the ball is moving through the honey with resistance at the same speed. Mm -hmm. That's what no, hang on, you've got to get the rest of the lesson. <laughs> okay. Because I, I, I hold it faster than he's trying to move in my powerful side, so it's not going to work. But some, at, at the moment, there is, there is nothing to catch, nothing to hold on. Yeah, and I, and I just I feel movement and I, I want to go with it actually. There's nobody to say you have to. No, I, I, I feel it and it, it feels comfortable actually. You go with it. And then you are understand. <laughs> <laughs> I think also you don't have anything to resist. Yeah, there's emptiness. Something, something you, there's nothing to resist. There's something. Because I, I looked on his hands and I, I grabbed good. Yeah, he had, a, he had a good hose. <laughs> <laughs> All the blood was on the other side, but still, I, I couldn't. Uh, I should I have to go there. Sorry, so you're feeling his emptiness. I don't know if, if it's emptiness. It's just like an uh, one particle, <laughs> like invitation. It's more like invitation. Now come to me. I have a cup of tea for you. And now I'm thinking. Oh, no, so we're, we're now starting to, to to define that. <laughs> Because I'm not trying to move him, it's inviting, it's compelling because I'm not trying to move him. The very moment that I'm trying to move him, guess what's going to happen? We have conflict again, straight away. So this is the essence of what we've been trying to cover, yeah? And the, every person that stands at the front and gives a description is essentially saying the same thing. I don't feel pulled, I don't feel manipulated, I don't feel this, I don't feel that. This is what I'm trying to say to you. I really, really want you to focus on just moving you. I know it's hard to ignore the fact that there could be a psychotic heathen really trying to yank the end of your arm off, but if you can ignore the fact, then you can ignore it and just move yourself. Yeah? Because we so, we're still so caught in that duality state where you're, oh, I'm going to do this to the person, I'm going to throw you, I want to do this. Constantly going back to that state of conflict. But the duality state is like <coughs> biological, so you know, there's lots of yeah, it's exercise to change it biologically. Uh, this, this isn't, nobody came here and said this is easy, this stuff. It's not, it's not easy physically, it's not easy mentally, it's a challenge. But when you get it right, it, it, it just feels so right, like you really feel like, wow, did it have to be like, is it really that easy? You know, there's all this struggle that goes on, and then song. Wow, really is that easy? <laughs> so we're trying to lead you to that moment of prompt. Did you want to ask a question? Yeah, so I had a question maybe on Thomas. That, uh, I yeah. was uh, uh, 
asking myself the, uh, the movement this morning physically as well with the hip for the tandem ball. Mm. Uh, you said you didn't feel anything. Do you, uh, At do the you beginning, you said like when I was trying to lever him with the arm, I did nothing. Yeah, no, no, that was so I was exactly. trying to. So I was trying to use at the, the when I was mistakenly doing it. All I was doing was trying to raise my arm mm -hmm. with nothing here, just trying to raise my arm. Then I activated this, and the, the very moment that I activated this, Tony started to move. Mm -hmm. Is that what you were? Is that yeah, what you were trying yeah. to say? Yeah. And that was what he was saying about he never outrun that movement. As that movement happened, Tony and I didn't try to, and that's important. Like as the ball moved, that this moved, I didn't try to rush. Oh, I've got Tony. I'm going to throw him. Same. Disconnect. So it was like I was talking about yesterday with the sequence of the wave. Don't shortcut it just because you've thrown the person. Complete the circuit. <coughs> Same with that. I don't try to accelerate the throw of you because I, I've already got him moving and I know I can do it. And then I am going to do she and argue. And so we kick you out of you again straight away. Mentally, actually, if you don't finish it, you don't finish your purification. If we go back to the Beautiful. It's a purification oh, process. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, you will just have been focusing on yourself and then on him mm -hmm. and that's why you stop because he's already then I'm finished uh, that's right and you wouldn't be the finished after well we signed it we signed it talk like Ikea people that's that's great let's do it so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah we're going to do it so you're just going to grab a partner and they're going to be at this side of you and um, please when you're being the UK can you not be a dead fish and you've, got to, you've got to give some energy to the person that they can work with. Otherwise, it's like trying to suck the energy out of the person. It's really difficult. Yeah. So give them some energy to work with, and then then think about what you did in the morning about moving the tandem ball there. And then as the tandem ball there goes there, this hand is naturally just going to go up. It naturally does because that person is connected to there. And it's going to take you a while and you're going to look at me completely confused and there's probably going to be 50 hands up in the air while I'm walking around. But we're here to fail and we're here to have fun. So do... Yeah. <laughs> sorry, Gemma. Are we doing this like you just demonstrated with someone holding your belly and someone so, else? Sorry, guys. Gemma just asked a good question. She said, do we want to do it with somebody holding the belly? Now, I don't mind people feeling me up on the mat, but I'm not quite sure how everybody else feels about that. So if you want... And you feel comfortable with it, do it in threes. So the person that is touching your hara can give you the feedback of what they're feeling. And if they're feeling you do that, you're probably doing the wrong thing. So if you're comfortable with it, and this is the reason that I let everybody feel me up and I don't usually let everybody else do it because I don't want to have somebody come up to me afterwards and say, I didn't really feel so it's up to you. But it's beneficial to have somebody giving you feedback as you're doing it rather than to just try to be bumbling through it yourself. So in Australia, yeah, we do. I get everybody to team up because mm. everybody has become comfortable with it. Mm. Mm. It's a, it's a, it, um, it accelerates the process of learning, getting that feedback from, from those two people, yeah. yeah, rather than you just standing there going, is that right, am I right? Well, oh, come here. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> so if you're, if you're comfortable with it, please do it in threes. Yeah? OK. Nice. where I practice it the most when I'm driving a car. So I'm driving, I turn left, I go empty, yeah. back, turn right, empty, just while I'm sitting there. So I think about it while I'm sitting there driving the car. Because so this is like the steering wheel of my body. The car doesn't have no steering. <laughs> but it's a, it's a good analogy, yeah? So it's your steering wheel. So when I'm driving, I may as well be practicing because I'm just sitting on my ass, but the idiots all around me. Yeah, so Maybe it's because you go like this. <laughs> <laughs> what I find, found interesting is that uh, while doing it, I couldn't <coughs> produce the knowledge, but I felt it. Yes. That's good. Because the feeling of it is, is the most important. Yeah, uh, after a while you start to understand how it's happening, yeah? So trying to link the, the feeling and the mental capacity. 
Because I'm asking you to move your body in a, in a way that you have never thought about before. <clears throat> and that's, that's challenging for everybody. That's why it's better to have a play with it and have a bit of a laugh and then I walk around the dojo and everybody has a bit of a feel. I've been told that everything I've got airbags inside me, watermelons, a baby, uh, <laughs> 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 lots of things are happening inside me. Uh, somebody said it was Nico's um, bean salad. <laughs> beans. <laughs> so there's the secret. More beans. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's good left. All right. So let's let's now try to put it into practice a little bit. Yeah. Because that's what we're here for. Let's get that there. So at the person, yeah. Then Drew. So the whole time I'm doing this, yeah? So I'm not getting to here and then locking this out and going, ah, because it feels different to going kind of like that. Yeah. Empty, empty. It's like having a dance, yeah? Empty. Have a play. <laughs> <laughs>
come out this side. One thing I see is like if you stand behind, make sure you're awake that nobody drops with their head on the knees. Yeah, absolutely. So just to make that space. So I'm, it's funny, I'm passing through. Yeah. Where have you heard that before? Yeah. Yeah. It's coming. I'm passing through. from this really strange person. <laughs> 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 from the normal one. <laughs> I feel like I don't want to be in the way. Oh. <laughs> so now the, the body of stone is now in motion. Yeah, I felt like, at the last one I felt like a brick going like this, like that. Oh. The other one I felt more like that. Oh. <laughs> this was on the last one, your head slightly impacted exactly. my arm. <laughs> so next question, was the arm hard? No. It was harder on my shoulder than on the muscle. I noticed the way you felt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For me, the fun. feeling as an hooker was to really stay connected. Yeah. Really not, not just I fall and I don't know what's happening, but yeah, I stay yeah. connected to what you're doing. Like, okay. It's a good feeling, yeah. feel like a family yeah not like a, a kingdom that's got a king and a whole bunch of um, subjects <laughs> <So>, um, <laughs>